Right folks, you've guessed it, we're in Aaron. So, we're going to do a summit camp tonight. We're going to head up Goat Fell. So, don't go away. What I'm going to do, I'm going to walk around for Brodick, uh, around uh, what they call the Fisherman's Path, and that'll take me to the kind of base of where the walk starts. So, don't go away. Making our way along the fisherman's walk. So this will take us round to can't remember the name of the tail. I think it's just before you can see Brodick Castle just over there. But there's a tail bit and that's where the uh, the part the, the base of the path to the top of Goat Fell, Fell starts. So that's where we're heading. Summit camp tonight folks, it's gonna be a good one. Goat Fell Summit, three and a half miles. It says it takes between two and five hours to get up. Right, this is the kind of starting point at the hotel called the Cladder. So basically, I think it's pretty well signposted. Last time I was up here was over 20 years ago. But, let's see, there's signs everywhere telling you what way to go. So, onwards and upwards. Well, that's that starting to kind of open up. That's us out, the kind of tree line. If I remember rightly, I think the bridge part, which I don't know is maybe a bit further the way up, maybe another couple of hundred, hundred yards. Nice kind of waterfall up there, probably can't make it out in this camera. But, let's keep going. We're at the bridge. So I'm going to take a wee breather here. Fantastic. Right, two thirds of the way up. Kind of mountain ranges are starting to open up a wee bit now. I'll basically get the last third to do. This is where it starts getting a lot steeper. More kind of climbing over boulders, etc. But it's going to be so worth it once you get to the top. Don't go away. Quarters of the way up now, so I'm just going to stop with a wee breather because I'm going to get the last stretch. That's the kind of cloud coming in, as you can see right at the top. So I'm hoping that kind of blows over and we get a wee, well, hopefully I can get some photographs when we get to the top. If not, it doesn't matter. I'm only doing it for the summit camp. Oh, I'm so looking forward to getting to the top.
heading into the clag or the the mist or the clouds or whatever it is. So just up ahead, so this might be the last views we get. Hopefully it'll blow over. Uh, and I'll get a kind of kind of views of the mountains at the back as well. Uh, I'll try to remember the names later on. We'll, we'll get to that once we get to the top. But it's definitely any minute now we lose visibility until I get to the summit. Unless it unless it blows over. So let's go. Oh, we're breaking the cloud, so that's their destination. Up very, very top. So good few hundred I don't know how far it is, but it's still about a good third, and this is the clambery bit. <sighs> hang on, at the top. Sheltered through the wind as well. Can't see a thing just now, but if it opens up, you'll see all the main range in the back. at the summit so at points it's clearing up we're getting views and then next thing there's loads of cloud but fingers crossed at some point we'll there's just a few seconds there's you can you can see the kind of mountains at the back a wee bit windy at this right up at this point but there's a point it's literally just down there that's where i'm going to set the tent up but right now I'm just I'm just gonna try to hang about to see if I can get in decent photographs. Who knows? Points even and out. In fact I'm just gonna go and see if I can get a photo. Bisco White One Brilliant. Right, I'm going to stop again because I've just noticed a good photo. Give me two seconds.
right, it's just kind of clearing. So I'm starting to see a wee bit of the kind of mountain range at the back. It's almost as if that's its own kind of wee biosphere. It just seems to be just not clearing in the middle. But hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll kind of blow away. There's been two rains to get the camp at the front side. Possibly get the sunset. But I'll maybe catch a bit of that as well. But I've got all the way to hopefully this clears at the back. We'll get a fantastic view over the, well, you say, the back mountain range. Anyway, I'm I'm yeah, going to bring up my tent up. Just been wandering about and waiting for basically the clouds to clear. But they are kind of clearing here and there. So I'm going to get the tent up. We'll do that right now. Just nipped up to the summit again, so I can see our miles. Absolutely stunning. So, folks, top of Goat Fell, 874 meters, I think it is. What a view! All round view for the top. Tent up just in time, so the rain's coming down again, but oh, what a spot, what a view, cannot whack it. Right, sleeping arrangements tonight, called your pillow, Leviathan 900, really uh, sleeping bag, uh, static V recon mat, just that wee silver coil pad, and the Foul Raven Espisco Light one. <sighs> what a spot. Yeah. Just can't beat this, can you? time it is, it's time for a brew, time for a brew and I think I'll get some tea, it's amazing, I know I keep saying it but I just, this is, you mean, to wake up with a view like that, well I'll probably not have this view tomorrow morning, I think it's to be pouring the rain, uh, 
but the view I've got just now is just what an absolute peach of a spot. <laughs> Camping in the rain, at the summit of Goat Fail, but I did clear up a wee bit there, so that's not so bad. But I said it was going to have a brew it, so it's now going to have a brew it. Hey, it's not a bad campsite. Aye, no, it's pretty good, it's pretty good view. Yeah, it's good. Look at that, somebody, somebody put by and just go up. Anyway, I hope I go up, get the out kit, the blue kit. It does the ages, and it's pretty great. I can spend a lot more money than I get oil, but I just think. I will take that off just because That's what I'm going to do. I'm 
พอยู่ว่าละจะกระพอยู่ถูกเขาสูงแล้วก็รามิวยังพอยว่าเขาสูงอันตรายสูงเรื่องพอยู่ถูกเราจะขี้สตายที่เฮฟเวอร์ไม่เลยสามปีแล้วนี่เดี๋ยวก็จะหาไปก็ว่าจะไปเดี๋ยวจะไปเดี๋ยวสมัยนั้นพ่อเอ๋ยเขาเลยก็เลยไปที่บ้านคุยทีทีนสักทีเขาเลยเสียเกลี้ยกระคาบสุดเลยไม่ว่าจะปรังจงกันหน่อยละขันเท้าไอ้มันก็น่าบ้าแข็งคอรีพอร์ตเลยทุกวันนี้ผมก็หาบ้าเปลือกก็หาเบย์เจ้าเปลือกก็น่าบ้าจงกับโมกะภาษาสวีเดนคงเป็นเทนบาร์กของคนนี้ Enjoy the view. What do you love you? Do you love you? Or a sport, folks? Or a sport? Right. Some tea. The flag's kind of moving on again, so I did say it was going to rain. Well, I did say it was going to rain tomorrow morning, but we'll wait and see. Hmm, don't mind if I do. What the do? The rain's an awful wee bit. One minute I can't see in, and next minute I can't. But I used to get some good, some decent photos, so you can just now should be out and actually paint some photos. And the light was quite nice. Just for ease, can you? Don't remember, leave no trace, take a rubbish with you. Oh, beautiful. That's not quite nice tonight. We bought a sun, we bought a rain, but I know it is. I know I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning, it's going to be a bucket in town. And that's what I'm dreading. When I've got to take my tent down the rain. Back down. I said dreaded, not dreaded. Just I'm using this. What an amazing place to. I don't know. Let's see the sun go down. Like I say, the last time I was up here was, was probably in my early 20s. So it's, it's, and I just, I just come up that time, just for a hike. But oh, it's just amazing, just to, I don't know, I just look like it.
Sitting back chilling, join the view. So, this is kind of quite a big mountain range. We've also got a, I think it's pronounced Sierra Moir. We've got the Rosa Pinnacle, we've got the Castile Abel, the Witch's Step, we've got kind of Glen Sanox over there, uh, over kind of that direction. We've got Ben Beria and down to Ben Riak. We've also got Malak Bui, a couple of walks, one of the villages. It's just such a beautiful place. It's no wonder they call it Scotland in miniature. Yeah, well, you can see it's just. Stunning, what a view. I'm so glad I came up and did this. This has been one of my nicest views I think I've had in a camp. So this is on par with like sky and stuff. Just absolutely stunning looking. But right now, it's time for a Cadbury's Dairy Milk Caramel. There's also a Adam Coastal Path. When I was talking to a couple of folk today, the older guy, when I first started on the bottom. Apologies if you're watching. I don't remember your name. come up to a certain point. Yeah, as I was talking to there was a group of kind of Indian folk who was nice kind of Dutch group from Amsterdam they were from. So I talked to them for a wee bit. When I actually first got off the bus, I met a guy at the bus for Perry. Just before when we were waiting for it to come and go up. But he was going down to Cody. So I think there's another way up for Cody. When you get the bus down to Cody, you can come up the other way. I said I'd see him at the top. And I saw him, and he come up to the quarry way, and I saw him in the way, he was on his way down basically. But coming down the way I was going up. But as 
usual. I've got way, way too much stuff. Actually, when I think about it, I think I've actually got a tin of chicken curry as well. And I've lugged that all the way up here. Mm. Oh, I've got a little bit of chocolate, don't you? Mm. Oh, beautiful island, absolutely stunning. I've always liked Arden. It's the reason amount of folk you, you, you need that have never been to Arden. And that's even folk like. Here's your folk. But it's a beautiful, beautiful island. Sorry, I'm just a, I'm too busy eating chocolate there. I'd like to do Glen Rosa one time, because I've never done that. I think it's over. Lucky, absolutely the weather tonight. It was raining there later on. Oh, Mr. Gun, oh no. But the rains went off. It's turned out quite a nice night. It's a beautiful sky. It's quite nice up with the, the sun with the rays coming through the clouds. Let's see for miles. Past nine, so you can, I can just see the light start to fade. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a, a chopper mocker. It's going to make something more steep, but I can actually go, I'm going to stick more chocolate. I'm going to make some more chocolate. Uh, more chocolate and a chopper mocker. So I'm going to uh, use that Otzi adventure gear mug. Brilliant. I've been using this. Last two weeks, and it really does keep your keeps your drinks bubbling and warm, can. So, 
I'm not a WWE video. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was more a kind of opening of it, but I knew that I've used it. And I must have that somehow. I would, I would honestly recommend. It's, I don't know. It's, Sashi's a four age, I've got another meal. I wouldn't starve for it that way, but I just kind of just kind of go bald, mate. But uh, I think I bought uh what else did I Chocolate buttons. Carry on chocolate buttons out there. Yeah. So that's something I'm out to right now. Time for a chocolate walker. As you can hear, it's raining again, yet again. Raining, wind's picked up in the back. No, I knew, I knew it was so I knew that one day today. It was a Cadbury's caramel button. Sometimes you just get a, I don't know, maybe not, not have to do it. You did do it. But I did right there. I've not made too much of me. I'm on this now. The rain's coming down. I've actually got the paint up. I'm 
into the mark. Especially see we've got that outside. Just nothing beats, nothing beats that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drink that. Drop a mocha. a wet walk back, but I'll bring you back in the morning anyway, right now, I'll go and sleep, good night. Oh, morning, right, it's about quarter past five. Mm. It's just a bit light. Oh, I don't want to get up, how do I need to get up? I've got a lunchtime ferry to catch but oh, I could just lie here all day quite easily but I need up and it definitely is raining so oh, I guess I'm going to take a tent down the rain no good well, it is what it is. So, oh, I feel like there's only one and a half years this morning. I'll get some time out. This looks like it's safe. Yep, I can't see a thing. All packed up, packed in the tent. So I'm going to get the tent down. So I'm going to get the tent down. It looks like it's it's an absolute bucket now. So, I'm going to have to get up now. I'm going to have to basically get this paint down and get back down the, the hill. So, it's all bad. So, don't go away. I'll hopefully do a wee bit more filming. Maybe the back. Well, if I can see anything. Look the outside at the moment. You can't see the tent in front of you. It's just really quite the rain. But, hey ho. I'll get the tent up. Tent down, sorry. And head off. Right, ten down. It's absolutely it's just pouring down. Wet. Can't see a thing. But I'll take my rubbish with me. Well, we're about two thirds of the way down. So we're back at that kind of bridge I stopped at the way up. The water's definitely raging now, so it's no stops raining. Even that big kind of rubber over the back there is absolutely raging as well. I'm going to, I'm actually going to sit for two minutes, just catch my breath, and then I'll head to the final stretch. We're getting there. So this is us coming back down into the tree line. So, a few miles go yet. Well, that's us back down at the bottom. So I've just got the fisherman's walk. Back around the coast, eh, I'm going to get some tea, I think, from Hank Marvin. Final stretch, the beach. I'll wait. Right, back in Brodick. So, I just went and got myself two rolls. Let's get a sausage, tax gone, brown sauce. Hot chocolate. With a cream marshmallows. I'm now sitting in a doorway. I'm going to scoff that. So I'm going to call it a day for this video. It's been a good one. I really did enjoy. That was an absolutely amazing spot last night. But right now I'm going to sign off. So as ever, thanks for watching. Uh, don't mind. Leave a comment. Hit the like button if you don't mind as well. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Right, that's us. What a fair it. So, homeward bound. Catch you in the next one, folks. Adios.